Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another edition of What's in the Box. Today we're looking at the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Tomb of Annihilation board game. I've kind of been on a board game kick here recently and uh, this was a really interesting looking one so I kind of had to pick it up. Uh, you should know that there are actually two versions of this. There is the, the regular version, which is what we're going to be looking at today. And there's also a um, deluxe version, or collector's edition, however you want to look at it. <clears throat> but uh, really the only difference is that the, the standard edition that we're looking at today comes with uh, unpainted miniatures, and the deluxe version comes with pre-painted miniatures. And that is really the only difference between the two sets. So... Mm, you'll have to make your own decisions as to whether or not you want to pay the extra cost to get the uh, pre-painted minis or if you're okay with the unpainted ones. So at any rate, <clears throat> I figured we'd just go ahead and tear into this thing and uh, take a look and see what's inside of it and kind of show you all the bits and bobs here and uh, kind of go from there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just uh, cut this thing open. So I don't know the best place to start, so I'm going to just flip it over on the back to show you all what the back looks like. This is kind of everything that comes with it, um, and we're going to go ahead and put a, a slice in this thing so we can start opening it. Should be all we need. <clears throat> Yeah, so if you've ever actually played any of the rest of the uh, Dungeons & Dragons board games, this one will be essentially the same, uh, just with a slightly different scenario coming through it. Um, or at least that's the expectation here. Uh, the last one that I reviewed for y'all uh, is actually listed here on the back of the box. <clears throat> Temple of Elemental Evil. Uh, played through that with a couple of friends of mine, and it was a really awesome session. And uh, looking forward to getting a couple more of those in. Nice plastic. This is made by uh, WizKids and NECA, along with the Wizards of the Coast. Lots of rattly paper. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and uh, see how well this thing, how easily it slips out of the box. These cases are sometimes just uh, hit and miss as to whether or not everything just slides out or if you got to kind of beat and bang on it to get it to come out. This one is starting to come out pretty easily. Shake it a little bit to get some of that air moving. Whoop. There's the inside cardboard of that. I'm just going to flip it up over here on the side and we'll go from there. So, uh, right away we are presented with this awesome adventure book pack. We'll take a look at the actual pack itself here in a moment. And we've got the, all the bits and bobs in here. We've got a stack of cards. We've got this cool looking miniature. We'll uh, look at the miniatures all individually here in a few minutes as well. A whole bunch of other miniatures. A stack of these little bitty ones. A stack of our player characters it looks like. Some more regular pawns. Another stack of, uh, looks like, uh, bad guys. <laughs> A piece of cardboard. <laughs> Don't know what that's for. Some of the uh, slightly larger scale miniatures. And the even larger scaled miniatures. Pretty cool. We've got a single D20 dice. Some of that cool silicone packaging stuff that uh, 
keeps things from sweating and stuff like that. And we'll pull out this here plastic piece. And we've got all the board pieces and everything else down here, the tokens and everything. Uh, this one actually comes wrapped, which is uh, something that some of the rest of these we've had in the past did not do. So let me just flip this over and uh, shake all these out. And we'll flip this to the back. Make some room here. And let's go ahead and just open this thing up while we're here. And we'll just go through these boards one at a time real quick and uh, just kind of show y'all what they are. So the first sheet here we have is uh, some of the actual character sheets. And we've got some uh, tokens for Web, Strawman, Wonder, Wonder, Healing Surge, The Stunned. Flipping it over to the back, it's kind of the same thing. These are pretty cool though. I'm out of room. <laughs> Uh, let's stick them over here, so, yeah, <clears throat> that'll probably work. The next sheet has uh, some of the bad guys. And all you do is you just poke these things out, and uh, these are actually about to come out by themselves, but you just pop these tiles out and uh, kind of go from there, so... Whoop, uh, see, very easily to kind of remove because they just pop right out. But So here are some of the uh, dungeon tiles. And flipping it over to the back, we've got uh, some cool jungle scenes here going on. That's really awesome. I do like that. Slide that over to the side here. Uh, we've got a gold piece that kind of fell out of that one, so uh, we'll stick it back over there. More dungeon tiles. There's a little bit of cardboard wear on this one, but uh, luckily it's on the part that we are going to discard anyways once you pop these things out. But and we're just going to quickly run through these destination tiles. Again, we've got a crypt here, and we've got some cool jungle stuff going on there. More cool jungle scenes. Jungle scenes. Jungle scenes. More crypt stuff. Very cool. So the way these things work is basically you take the tiles and you kind of uh, randomize your encounters. So you just kind of uh, use them like cards and you shuffle them around and you, uh, depending on which encounter you're playing, you kind of just uh, pick a number of these tiles and then you just randomly set them on the board and that creates your really cool looking uh, whatever map, I guess. <laughs> Here is the, uh, the villain guy. That's cool. But yeah, so you uh, create all sorts of different uh, maps to play through, and they're, they're going to be different every time because, again, when you're randomizing it by picking and shuffling and things like that, it makes it very easy to uh, not have the same session twice, which is a good thing. So it uh, gives you a lot of replayability with these things. So yeah, these are cool. So that's all the uh, tiles that we get. Uh, we'll go ahead and I guess we don't have to actually stop the camera here. Let's just go ahead and then tear into this uh, adventure sheet set here, the paperwork. And then we'll uh, zoom in when we get around to doing the miniatures themselves so you can see all of them individually. 
Uh, we've got uh, an advertisement for some of the other stuff they have going on from the uh, D&D realm. And a code here for the world of Neverwinter. Uh, Y'all can't see my code. I don't play this game, so. <laughs> but you get a free code for some stuff in this. Then we've got this awesome adventure book. I really do love the artwork on this thing. Um, very cool. Turn this light back around so we can see a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, very cool looking artwork. We'll just flip through this thing very quickly. It has your uh, rules in it, basically. Um, or not rules, but uh, how to play the game kind of thing. Uh, this is basically where you... Uh, so in these sessions, you basically choose an adventure. And there are a number of these. Looks like we've got... 13 of them in this campaign so you basically pick a number between 1 and 13 and then you go to that page and it tells you how to set up for that particular adventure it gives you some of the story guidelines and then you just kind of play through it from there so uh yeah these are pretty cool it tells you how many tiles you need to get uh so yeah these are cool adventure books yeah awesome there then we actually have the actual rule book here, which tells you how to play the game itself and uh, how to do everything if you've never played before. It's a good short reference guide here. These things come in handy for uh, new players, and uh, I've kind of found that that's uh, usually the way most people end up doing this is... Uh, the people who are already kind of into the D&D &D adventure stuff usually just go ahead and play the actual full-blown RPG aspect instead of the board games. But uh, you do have certain people that like board games more than RPGs. So this is a great way to kind of double dip for uh, Dungeons & Dragons. So, But yeah, this is a cool rule book. Makes it very easy to get new players acclimated. <laughs> And then we've got some, uh, the miniature reference guide here. So you've got some monsters listed here. You've got the villains and you've got the heroes. So that's pretty cool. We'll count to see how many of these things we have, uh, when we actually get to it here. But, uh, you get a fairly good chunk of these things here. Um, I think when they actually released the miniatures for the, uh, Tomb of Annihilation expansion set for the actual D&D &D realm. Uh, there were 60-some of them in total, uh, individually. Uh, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 listed here. And then you'll have some uh, duplicates here, there, and abouts. But uh, that's about half of them here. So... Um, that's a pretty good set to get as part of this box set, so yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll zoom in now and take a look at the card deck. And then we'll move on and start on the miniatures. So stick with us. So now that we're zoomed in, we'll go ahead and take a look at the card deck here. Lots of cards. Pick a card, any card here. Uh, so we have uh, a set for traps. And we'll just try to just uh, break this out here. So a set for traps. We've got a set of these for treasure. We've got a set for monsters. We've got a set for the actual encounters themselves. If I can quit knocking everything over. <laughs> Evidently I can't. A set of spells. A 
more traps. More treasure. More treasure. <laughs> More monsters. More encounter cards. And we'll flip these things over here in a minute here so yeah, we can uh, kind of see what some of them are. We've got some adventure cards. And then we've got some of the character cards here. So you'll have some for each of the playable characters here. And here's some daily power cards. That's cool. But character cards, daily power cards, more character cards, character cards, So uh, you'll notice here that they've got some of these listed as uh, Paladin and some of these as Sariel. So I don't know what the difference is there. Uh, I haven't looked at the rules yet, so who knows. I'm assuming that they're part of the same kind of thing. Here's the Druid cards. Bard. And your sequence cards. <clears throat> so, zoom out a little bit so we can see all these at once. So you get a, quite a few different types of cards in this thing. Uh, these are your sequence of, this basically is your, your quick rule sheet. So you hand one of these to each player. Uh, so those are cool. Um, which ones do we want to look at first? Let's look at the bard. So bard cards. Flipping them over here. We'll zoom back in, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about the zooming and unzooming stuff. But uh, so these are pretty straightforward, just uh, power cards and spell cards and things like that. So uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with them. But you get a good set in here. So very nice. The uh, Sariel slash Paladin. Again, more cool powers and spells and attacks. Then we've got the ranger cards. If I can get them to come open. <laughs> come here. Ranger cards. Yeah, and kind of the same straightforward thing. This gives you your powers and attacks and uh, weapons and all that cool stuff. Then we'll go <clears throat> to these Ring of Water Daily Power Cards. They're essentially just uh, spells. That one's called Ice Spider. That's cool. Then we got the actual Wizard Cards. And last, our Druid cards. So, very cool looking. Uh, let's look at, come of, uh, look at a couple of these spell cards. Pretty uh, standard kind of spells here, but still pretty nice. Our adventure cards. We're not going to look too closely at these because we don't really want to spoil anything, but uh, 
if you want to, you can look and zoom in a little bit on those. But uh, there's our adventure cards. Then let's go to monster cards. Cool. Encounter cards. Quite a few of these. And essentially what you do with all these cards is you, uh, you shuffle the deck and then, uh, you randomly pick cards and that kind of tells you uh, the foes you're facing and the uh, type of encounters you've got and uh, all that cool stuff. So it's a, a really good system for just uh, playing a game in general. Look at the treasure cards next. I'm not going to, this is not really supposed to be a review so I can't really say how actually this works within the game itself or how well it works that is. You just kind of have to uh, play it and see and I haven't played it yet so... But uh, going off of some of the previous games that uh, all work the same way, it is a lot of fun and very easy board game to get into. Uh, it is pretty much very combat heavy. So if you're looking for more of the role playing aspects, um, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit more. They don't really set up a whole lot of uh, encounters that focus on that kind of thing. It's more about the action oriented side of the game. Uh, which is, I guess, one reason it's a little bit more approachable to new players. They don't have to think too hard about it and uh, don't have to work in character. Skipped one. But yeah, you get a lot of varied things to deal with on this set, so... That's all the cards we got. Uh, we will move on now and take a look at the miniatures because that's the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> Stick with us. So let's go ahead and dive into some of these miniatures. I'm uh, just going to start with this random pack here. I think these are the heroes. We'll just dump them out and uh, kind of look at them and see what we got here. So, um... Right off the bat, I can see we've got uh, a little bit of an issue with one of them. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's see how well we can do this here. Let me move my light up here, and hopefully y'all can see some of the detail work on this thing. So this one is uh, off the Washu or something to that effect. Pretty cool. It's uh, got a lot of detail work in this thing. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more here and angle this down to get it a little bit better for y'all. That's not too bad. So it's got some nice detail work here. These things look pretty cool. Again, they do all come unpainted. You can go ahead and uh, paint them yourself if you want to, or just kind of leave them like this. It works really well for these kind of games because you don't have to worry too much about messing these things up or anything. So Then we got this cool bird guy. This is Ashara or something like that. Um, his spear looks like it's uh, kind of bent a little bit. Probably fix that with a little bit of hot water. Get it to kind of hold its shape a little bit more. But this is a really cool one in that he's kind of got this cool clear base to show that he's kind of flying. They got a lot of really cool detail work on the wings on this guy. Ah! 
I can quit dropping them. Then we got the barred guy here. This is Tabaxia Minstrel. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but uh, you all get the point. Pretty cool looking. Little rat guy thing. <laughs> Then we got this guy, which is uh, Dragon Bait. That's a cool name. Some nice detail work on this guy. And the sword's a little bit wonky looking, but uh, not as bad as some of the rest of them I've seen in the past. And then we got um, Artist Climber. Our ranger guy. So yeah, this guy's uh, not in the best shape in the world. I'm going to have to fix that, definitely. Uh, you can see the stress in the plastic already, so I'm going to have to dip him in some hot water to get this guy to look anywhere close to being right here. But uh, beyond the fact that he's kind of leaning way over and his bow's crooked, still some cool detail work on this guy very nice so that's the uh, that set let's grab this set here We got some cool raptors. Let's see what these things are labeled as. Velociraptor. Very nice detail on this guy. One, two, three raptors. See if we can sort these out real quick to kind of help. Looks like we got uh, three of each set here of whatever they are. So uh, let's just grab this guy. Uh, this one is uh, Battery Goblin. Oh, let me get back on the camera. <laughs> battery Goblin. Very nice looking. Little pygmy looking dude. Three of those. This is the uh, veggie pygmy. <laughs> Looks like he's a little hunched over too, but uh, still pretty cool. That light any better for you? Some nice detail work anyways. And then we got this uh, weird teddy bear looking thing. This is Zorbo. Zorbo the Magnificent. Looks pretty cool. So there's uh, those guys. So three of each of those sets. I'll slide them over to the side and grab another set. Got some uh, more regular sized minions in this set. Kind of all bundled together here, it looks like. Cool. So let's go with these cool snake looking guys. These are cool. 
Uh, this is uh, Ying T Broodguard. Very nice, cool looking monster guy. Then we got these cool skeleton warrior guys. This is a uh, skeleton, obviously. <laughs> Very nice. And you've got one, uh, I guess, king skeleton. Skeleton key. Not king, but skeleton key. That's kind of cool. Some more lizard men. This is... Frenowit. Eh. Then we got these monkey looking guys. Uh, this is the Sioux monster. It's an evil monkey looking guy. <laughs> and we got some of these uh, zombie guys. What are these things? It says... Kilton Zombie. So yeah, zombie guys. <laughs> Pretty nice. We'll slide these over to the side as well. And grab these guys. <laughs> Starting to get into the slightly larger ones. These look really cool. Uh, these guys are Terra Folk, so uh, pterodactyl dudes. <laughs> yeah, very cool looking, very nice. There's two of these guys. They are the same sculpt here. Yeah. Two of those guys. We've got a uh, Grillion. Cool looking abominable gorilla guy with four arms. Very nice. And this cool looking guy right here. Uh, this is a giant four armed gargoyle. This thing is really awesome. That is very cool. Uh, as far as size comparison goes here, we've got the regular guy and this guy. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that guy a lot. Let's take a look at this big one right here. This big old battle wagon looking thing here. This is cool. This is the Stone Juggernaut. This thing is pretty badass. Lots of intricate details all the way around this thing. This is just really awesome looking. Kind of heavy too. And then our last set here should have the big bad guy in it. And some other dudes. Whoop. All right. These are kind of the boss characters here. This little bitty one is the uh, uh, Veggie Tippy Fee Chief. So the Pygmy Chief. That's cool. This is. Valendra, Valendra Shadow Mantle. It's a cool name, anyways. That's a cool character. And we've got the uh, cool snake guy. This is Ras Nisi. He's pretty cool. Uh, essentially the guy off the cover, I suppose. 
And last but not least, the uh, supposedly the big villain of this kind of campaign here. This is Asherak. Uh, this thing is uh, extremely crazily detailed here. Lots of cool stuff going on here. Lots of little folds and all sorts of cool stuff here. So that's pretty awesome. Not quite as uh, imposing of a bad guy as the uh, the dragon from our last set we looked at. But still, all in all, it's not bad at all. So again, you get, uh, what did we say, about 20 of these things, 24 or something to that effect. So uh, it's a pretty cool little set here. I like them. So there you have it. It's a, a quick look at what's in the box for the Tomb of Annihilation board game from the Dungeons and Dragons realm. All in all, it's a really cool looking set. Lots of cool miniatures that come with it. Uh, some really cool looking board pieces. And yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with this set. Again, it does come in two different versions. You can get a deluxe version that have the miniatures pre-painted or you get the regular set where they're just uh, the plastic looking pieces. Uh, either one I think you'll be happy with. So yeah, go pick this thing up if you haven't already. That's all the time we've got for today. So thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think about the Tomb of Annihilation board game. Have you played it yet? What did you think? If you'd like to see something special in the future, let us know that as well. And until next time, game on.